Grand Rapids got its first Afro-Latino certified midwife this year as home births are on the rise. So I decided I wanted to catch babies um, a long time ago. I feel like I've always been very interested in birth work. She credits this to her family's experience. My practice is named De La Flor Midwifery because um, my great-grandmother made a really big impact in my life. Her name was Flor and she had 14 beautiful children whom a lot of which she birthed at home. Tiffany Townsend's grandmother also was a doula in the Dominican Republic before becoming a doctor here in America. Yet, she still had her first four children born in the hospital, an experience she now wishes she changed. Right, I've been in the birth world as a mother and I've been in the birth world as a birth worker and so I got to see things both sides. If I could go back and do all my births again, I would never go into that space because I just didn't feel value seen or listened to. Townsend says implicit bias is prevalent in the birth field, but systematic issues continue because the oppressed actively participate. She didn't even speak up to ask about her own care until her third birth. I was like, hey, like, I noticed that, like, you always give me, like, Similac and, like, all these bags and stuff and, and Infamil, and I'm trying to figure out, like, why don't you talk to me about breastfeeding? He was like, oh, black people don't breastfeed. Like, and I was like, oh, like, did you know that I breastfed all of my children, like, at least until they were, like, almost three years old? And he was like, oh, like, no, I just assume black people don't breastfeed. And so when there's assumptions like that, there is, like, a lack of education, which is really a lack of resources because how can you do better if you don't know better? She knows plenty of mothers with similar experiences. The reality is, like, just being subject to people's bias puts people more at risk to not be believed um, when um, they're having issues in pregnancy, labor, and postpartum. And you can see it in the infant mortality rates. For every 1,000 births in Michigan, white mothers lose four babies and African-American mothers, 14 babies. Last year, Kent County only had 118 home births compared to the hundreds of thousands born in hospitals. None of the babies were lost. Tiffany was a doula for six years before deciding to be a midwife. She started school here but couldn't afford to continue, so left for a program in El Paso where she traveled back and forth for 17 months. I was like really happy for her, but I was sad because I couldn't see her for a long time. Because like she kept coming and going. Like every time she left, I cried for like a day. Motherhood, I think that we are really judged for being audacious enough to dream. I know that when I left, there was a lot of judgment about how dare I. Um, but I'm also here to raise wise, competent, capable children. And I wanted them to see their mother overcome. With over 300 births, Townsend got professionally certified in Michigan this summer. Now she is trying to make her last birth experience financially obtainable for more women in Grand Rapids. Insurance right now is not covering the cost of out of hospital birth. And so for some people like the $3,800 that is charged, although it's broken up throughout your pregnancy, like they just can't swing it. Like they're just trying to make it. Townsend said fundraising would be her focus when she got back home, but due to the increase in request has reconsidered. I got so many calls that I was like, okay, like I'll start taking clients in December and, um, now I'm like filling up very quickly. Filling up and filling a need in a field that will never die. Leona Dunn, 13, on your side.